Good day, everyone. Now we are going to discuss on how to compute the return of investment or the ROI. So you need to have the profit before taxes, the total assets, and uh, the formula on how to get it. Okay, so in order for you to derive for the net profit before taxes, kindly refer to your pro forma. Okay, kindly refer to your pro forma profit and loss statement. Okay, refer to your pro forma profit and loss statement. Okay, so in there you can find your net profit before taxes. So in this part. Okay, so as you can see, you have three years projection. Okay, so you can uh, base your projection for your net profit before taxes in the computation of your ROI on the first year. Okay, so in this example, they started 2022, but in your case, you can start 2024 or 2025 or even 2023. So because you will have your feasibility study for future use. Okay. So again, net profit before taxes is from your pro forma profit and loss statement okay, in this part. And then next, you need to have your total assets in which you can see on your projected comparative balance sheet. Okay. So again, you can uh, see your total assets from your projected comparative balance sheet. So in this part. Okay, this one. Okay. So again, during your first year projection. Okay, for your uh, project from your projected comparative balance sheet. So this is in where you can get your total assets. Okay. And then after that, you will compute for the ROI. So in order to compute for the ROI, you need to get first the net return. So the net return is the difference between the total assets and the net profit before taxes, okay? or uh, NPBT, the net profit before taxes, minus the total assets. So that is, that is your net return. Then after that, uh, in order to get the ROI, Okay, so you need to divide the net return to the total assets. And this will be the figures that you will get. And then multiply that into 100. So you are going to have this final ROI amounting to or equivalent to 40.61386667. And you can just round off. So 40.61. So for this case, the ROI is 40.61, okay? Okay, so good day, everyone. Here is a computation for the ROI or the return of investment. So you need to know what is the net profit before taxes of your uh, proposed business projected, and then the total assets, again, projected for your uh, incoming business, and then the net return, and then the final ROI. So now let's start on we, where we can get the net profit before taxes. So in your um, pro forma, profit and loss, you can see your net profit before taxes. Okay, so here, so on the first year of your projection, okay, so you can use that. So in your case, uh, your uh, future years will be from 2023 onwards. Okay, for the first year, and then you also have the 2023 or the next 
succeeding two years. Okay? And then, for the um, total assets, you can look for the projected comparative balance sheet. Okay? So, you can see it here. So, the total assets. Okay, so, here. Also, use the first year of projection. Okay? So, again... In where you can see the net profit before taxes that is located on your pro forma, pro forma, profit and loss. Okay, and then for your for your um, total assets, you can refer from the projected comparative balance sheet. Comparative balance sheet, projected comparative balance sheet. Okay, so now let's proceed to the computation. Okay, so in order to compute for the net return, you just need to subtract the net profit before taxes to the total assets. Now, so we will derive to this figure. So 1,827,624 from the difference of 6,327,624 as the net profit before taxes and minus the total assets of 4,500,000. So we get 0 0.40 from the net return divided by the total assets. So again, this is from the net return divided by the total assets. Okay. And then we will multiply to 100 in order to get the final ROI of 40.6138667. Rounded off to two decimal places, we get 40.61 as the final ROI. So if this becomes negative, meaning to say that reflects the negative um, impact of your sales towards your assets. So you need to do something in order to rise your profit. Okay. So 40.61 is the final ROI. Okay. So that's how you can get the return of investment or the calculation of the ROI. Okay. So for the formula, so I will uh, paste also here the formula for you to be able to understand easily. So here is the formula and some concepts about on how to compute for the ROI. You can also use this as your reference. Okay, so thank you very much. If you have questions, just message me. Okay, stay safe, everyone.